The table saw is a great way, of course, to rip material. And what we want to look at here, Ginny, is ripping really thin strips. And the problem with that is that when we bring the fence over close enough to do, say, a quarter inch strip like you would use for edge banding on plywood, I can't get the fence that close because the guard is in the way and I really don't want to take the guard off. So there's a pretty simple solution. If you'd be so kind as to grab those clamps. This is, it turns into a two person operation here. And here's what I've got. This jig is dirt simple. It's just a three inch wide base, hence the three inch. And then a vertical on here that'll let me clamp that to the fence. So let's do that, doctor, clamp. Clear. All right. Now, when I go to set up the fence on the saw, if I want quarter inch pieces, I then set the cursor on the fence to three and a quarter. And I just had to get under my little anti kickback paw there, was what I lifted up. So now I'm at three and a quarter. The benefit to this is the guard can still be in place. My material is going to feed on that auxiliary fence. We're going to get quarter inch stuff out there. Why is Ginny here? Well, just because she likes to help me out. Now, why are you here? No. I have an important job. She's got an important job, which is when I get to the end of this cut, even with a push stick, I can't finish the cut because the guard is in the way. So that's where this turns into a two person operation. Ginny's going to be on the outfeed side. And as the material gets to a point where I can no longer push from this side, she's going to pull from that side. You ready for that operation? Yeah. Let's do it. So you, I'll take the big one. What do you think? They all look pretty even. Yeah, easy peasy. So um, it's just a, it's such a simple jig. It's such an easy thing to add to your table saw. And what I like about it is it lets us keep the guard in place, even while we're making these thin cuts, as long as you have a good helper, like I do, to pull them through on the outfeed side. Thanks, Jenny.